Hey everybody, uh, welcome back to the channel. It's been a while, sorry I've had a lot of stuff going on. Um, I just wanted to show you guys um, the setup for the 2006 RuneScape server. Um, I've been having a lot of questions about it and um, how it works, so I'm just going to go over how to start up and how to do everything basically, right? So when you download the source, which I'll link in the description, you will get a uh, zip folder like this, right? And what you want to do is download a tool like 7-Zip or WinRAR. I recommend 7-Zip because WinRAR will give you a 30-day trial and then bug you until you buy it, right? So um, download 7-Zip and then what you want to do is you want to right click and then 7-Zip extract here, okay? And what that will do is that will extract the client and server folder with the God Wars location, which is a thing on here. Um, I'll show you guys how to get to God Wars later, but um, we've got that in there. We've also got the update guide, which is here. Um, shows you, and this is important if you basically download a new version of this, right? Because because Midge 5 um, updates the, uh, these files. so. Um, you can you can have a look at this and find out how to move it again. I just I don't really bother because obviously I I use I use cheats so um, uh, I don't really bother progressing. But if you want to play it normally, go ahead and transfer your progress as it goes. Um, the guides here anyway. Right, so I'm gonna show you how it works. Right, so you want to open the server file, okay? And in the server file, we've got our cheats document here, which if you've wanted to find it. That's exactly where it is, right? And this is all of them, okay? Um, again, there's no more than this, but I've already done a video on how to do that. Um, okay, now, um, depending if you're on a Linux system or a Windows system, I do this on Windows, but um, do not run the .jar file, okay? Run the .bat file, because if you run the .jar file, um, you run out of memory. Look, see, it will stop getting starting up and then out of memory, right? You want to run the server.bat file first, which launches here. Okay, keep this open, all right, just for now. And then you'll get these two little applets load up, okay? I usually just put, you know, this one up here. And basically, again, this is just the um, RuneScape map. It shows you everywhere that you can go within sort of um, the original 2006 map. It's pretty extensive. So you can go pretty much everywhere, but I don't think all of it's been coded in. Again, most of it is there though, right? And, and, and the names that pop up are gonna be the names in the servers, okay? And then we've got our control panel here, right? RS2006 control panel by Midge, okay? And again, Midge5 is the guy that made this. So um, I think that there's a server, a Discord server, I'll try to find a link to it. I've got my own Discord server as well. I have experience with this. You can either ask me or you can ask those guys. I'll put the link to that in the description. Anyway, right, so the control panel is here and basically what you want to do is, uh, oh, and Midge has this link there, right? So um, again, we've got, a, we've got a few things going on here. The server's offline at the moment. Click start server, to start it up, and then it'll tell you how many users you've got online. Um, server emulator and server name, okay? Now, as you can see, when I start the server, what I'm actually looking at here is different players that are in the game already. And these and these are just bots, right? These are just scripts. These are just bots that have been put in. At the moment, we've got 315 people in the game. Again, these are bots. They're gonna move about. They're gonna do different things, okay? All right, and um, in the server config, I don't know if I'll be able to edit it at the moment. If I just shut this down quickly, all right? That turns all the bots in the game offline, right? If we go to server config, and then we go to open with, and then um, I usually use Notepad++, um, but at the moment I'll just use Notepad. Um, anyway, right, so what we wanna do is, um, and then this is if you wanna change anything in the server config, okay? Right, so, um, what we've got here are our parameters, okay? And you want to make it a play-to-play -play world, pay-to-play world, which means you'll be able to access members' items. I've had a few comments about this. Just use that line right there, okay? And we've got members' requirements. Okay, just 
just to let you know that this is this is sort of a programming term, but if a line in the server config has two slashes in front of it, it means it's a comment telling you something to do, okay? You see how player to player world doesn't have two slashes in front of it? That's because it's actually a line of code. And if it has two slashes in front of it, it's not a line of code, which means if you change this, something will happen. But ignore anything that has two lines in front of it. Well, it's an instruction. It's just not something that you can change, just so you know. Um, again, um, you can customize, and, th and this is something that I've done in previous videos, is just change the amount of um, things that are in the game. So you can turn off 2007 contents, you can increase wildy bots, okay? So like that first parameter is enable, and the second amount is um, the amount of bots in the game. You've got skilling bots, um, then you've got like progressive bots, again, um, trade bots, um, other bots, clan war bots, uh, drop party chance, scammer chance, like the, 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 this is in here, um, walking bots, um, We've got XP rates, bank size is something you might find useful. Idle logout, you can turn that on and off, I think. Um, then we've got trade bot, common item chance. There's a lot of stuff coded into this, so to be fair, you can you can really customize it to be what you want. Backup characters, LAN, um, woodcutting, grand exchange, wilderness slayer, clue merchant, um, item drops, fight caves, holiday item drops, again, there is a lot of stuff in this server config file for you to play around with, so find what works for you, okay? With our old CMD windows that are open, we can just close them. All right, we only, we only want the sort of new one open, just in case. All right, and if we start the server, okay? And again, it's gonna start on our local IP address, which we can see in the log, it's here, and it runs on that port. Don't try it, it's a local IP address, so you won't be able to connect to it, um, okay? Let me just open up my server map here. And again, you can sort of see who's in the game. These are bots. Again, don't be fooled. Um, we've got 315 players online. Now, somewhere in that server config file will be a way to, and I'm, there'll be a way to increase the amount of people that are in the game. So just going over that. Um, these are technical files, I won't touch these. Again, more technical files. Um, <clears throat> you can mess around with these if you want to. It's your choice, really. Um, okay, and the second part of this is the actual client itself. Okay, um, again, um, pretty self-explanatory, but um, for instance, we can open up our, um, well, I can't actually open up this uh, raw file because I don't have a file viewer that can do it. But again, we just want to run the .bat file, which is it. And this will open up the jar. <coughs> ah, bless me. Okay. And now we've got our um, got RuneScape client. Okay, now this is um, covering a question that I got a while ago. Hmm. It's how to actually change the game frame. And it's really simple. Up here in the top right hand corner, we can change to a resizable game frame if we want to. At the moment, I might make it a bit bigger, old school RuneScape, a sizable game frame, or I can go to um, 747, a resizable, and, that, and that's what version of uh, the game cache that we're using. So um, if we just make a new account with a name that we haven't used before, um, player one. Again, when you log in for the first time, that will be creating your details, okay? So you don't have to go on the new user, right? Okay. And I'm just gonna show you the resizable game frame. Okay, so it's a pretty nice size as it starts. Um, again, we don't have to be too uh, concerned about what a person looks like, it's just this tutorial. Okay, all right, showing that you can actually resize this, if you just grab the corner, you can adjust it like so. I, I quite like this uh, game frame. It's what you get in um, old school RuneScape anyway. So yeah, and then we can just um, we can just skip the um, tutorial. Uh, I mean, you can do a tutorial island if you want to. Um, but okay, so 
we've got our map of bots here and then we can sort of see where we are, right? And if you don't know the RuneScape map too well, um, we're here at the moment in Lumbridge Castle, but in the bottom left-hand corner, as you can see, um, there are tons of bots. With that big white cloud just means there's a bunch of names in one place, so um, don't, don't get too put off by that. Anyway, okay, so um, covering other stuff, um, there are land servers, which I'm going to have a look at now, but I haven't done much myself. If you click world map, again, you can get a world map that's different from the live one. So, for instance, I'm looking at the live one now, and I can see um, not the names of the people that are in the game, but I can actually see where I'm going and the names of the places, right? Which, which is useful. And then, again, you occasionally have, like, bots walk past. Um, because there are, because this version of the RSPS does put other uh, people in the game. So um, yeah, you um, you can figure that out pretty easily. Um, okay, so um, I haven't really gone near the um, LAN server functionality, but um, you can click LAN servers to find LAN servers. Now I don't really know how the LAN servers work, but um, I've, I've run this command, and from what I understand, um, land functionality is going to have to be a different video, because it's not something that I've run before. But again, this is literally just going over the basics, making sure you guys know how to use the server. Um, it's pretty easy, as you can see, like I didn't take that long, and again you're going to get, um, if you look at your console load as well, you can see what the uh, local server's at. So make sure your computer can handle it before running it, because um, it can get overwhelmed. And then um, one thing that I recommend to you guys is to go into the client or server and just dig around in some of the um, dig around in some of the um, files. Because look, if you go into like the server folder, for instance, you get all these things, right? Dot data files, which these are our characters, right? So that I can open this and. Notepad plus plus, and um, again, it's kind of hard to read this information. But look, we've got our username there, our password. I think it's encoded, and the IP address that we connected from. Um, again, some of this information is going to be hard to read, um, but again, I just recommend that you explore these um, files and just play around with things, really, because um, a lot of these are going to be dot dat files, dot data files. Um, so. I don't know if .data is the file extension for .data, but have a look um, and play around with things and see if there's anything cool that you can do. Um, I'm going to try and do some more RuneScape content soon, but I thought I'd just do a setup guide going over everything that I know, um, apart from the LAN functionality. That's something that I'm going to have to have a look into. It's not something that I've got much experience with, but I will look into it, and if I can get it set up on a LAN server, I know that you can have it set up on the same computer, like I could run two separate game clients at the same time and have them interact with each other, but running over LAN might be a bit more difficult. And running over the internet with port forwarding and things like Hamachi is going to be a bit more complicated. So I will have a look into that as well. It might be a bit more difficult to do it that way than it is to do it the current way at the moment. Again, i am only been doing this stuff for a little while now but yeah thank you guys for tuning in i will see you guys in uh, the next episode